Hi, this is Debbie again, and this is part two of how to do patient records inside of Practice Fusion. So we're going to just go back in here and pick up where we left off. So let's see, we were going to, oh, I remember, we're going to add a patient. So in the top right, there's a button that says Add Patient. Click on that and it brings up a screen and you need four pieces of information to add a new patient. First piece of information is uh, first name and then last name and then gender and birth date. So let's see, let's pick Ike Clinging Smith who is a cat we used to have and he's a boy and his birthday was probably um, in the spring of 1973. Okay, so there is no Ike Clinging Smith, so we're going to create him. And notice here there's a field on the top where my cursor is for patient record. When you first create a new patient that's empty and we want the system to create a patient number so we're going to check the box that says generate record number. Preferred me method of communication, we pick one and we'll put in a phone number. Picking a phone number at random. Address. making up an address here, but please do put in the county wherever the person lives. Uh, Sacramento City is Sacramento County. Pick the state. Put in the zip code. And every time a patient comes in, please double check the phone number and address with them to make sure they're the current ones and they have or have not moved. So the demographic info, we do use that, so please do mark demographics. So, like he was not a Hispanic cat. Preferred language. Now, you can click on the, the magnifying glass, which will bring up a list, or you can start typing. and It will narrow down the list to similar lettered languages, and then same with race. Uh, by the way, if someone is Hispanic for ethnicity, their race is Caucasian. If someone is non-Hispanic but Fiji Islander, they are Pacific Islander. So we're going to pick Caucasian or European American. And that takes care of all the information in the basic setup. And I save. And Practice Fusion opens up IQ Cleaning Smith in a detailed mode. I click on Basic and I can double check things. And now I see that there is a patient record. So the name of the cat is Ike. His last name is Clinging Smith. Notice the patient record is his first two initials. So when it generates a patient record, it's always first two initials and then uh, uh, numbers at the end that it randomly generates. If I want to edit this, there is an edit button toward the top middle. I left click on it to choose the edit and then I can modify whatever. I'll put in an email address. Ike at kingsmith.org and then before I exit I click on save. Okay, so now we've created a patient. So we can go back to the patients list and since Ike Clinging Smith was the last record accessed it's at the top. 
let's go add another patient. Let's add his sister, who was Edo Cleaning Smith. And Edo was a she. And they were the same litter. So we search for existing. It brings up all the names with Clinging Smith. I'm sorry, Edo isn't there, so we click on the button in the lower right that says Create as New Patient. So now we have Edo. We can put in that her email is her preferred method of communication, edo at clingingsmith.org. We could add a phone number if we wish. Let's put some numbers in here and her address. Oops, can't spell for it. Street Sacramento. I'm going to Here's a little shortcut, um, and I just did a paste, but if I want to not have to retype Sacramento, I highlight it, I hold down the control button, and then just tap C and let go. That copies whatever I highlighted to the clipboard, which is a little invisible storage place. Now I go over here to County, and I can paste the contents of the clipboard into that field. To paste, I hold down the control button and I tap V, so I didn't have to type it twice. California is the state we're in, and we're going to say the zip code is the same as a clinic, 95816. We'll scroll down here. So, Ido was non-Hispanic. She was English speaking, at least she understood food words. And then race, we'll put Asian. They were Siamese. And then click save. Okay, Edo should show up at the top of the patient list. So just now. It's good to double check what you've just done, and I just go across, make sure first and last name, gender, date of birth is there, but uh-oh, I forgot to click the box to generate a patient record number, so that's empty. And you need the patient record number to make a paper chart when a person comes in for the first time. So we're going to go back into Edo, who is opened up here as a detailed record. We're going to click on it. To get to the address and demographics, we click on basic. So I hover over basic, I left click, and it opens up the basic screen. I go over to the middle top and hover over edit, left click, and now I can edit. And I'm going to check the box that's toward the top here that says generate record number. So I check the box, and you know you've, you've checked it because it creates uh, a gray color in the field. So now I'm going to click on Save, which is toward the middle top. So I left click on the Save button, and the system should generate a patient number for us. We can go over and click on the Patients button in the top left to get the list, and if we look at the first record, because Edo was the last person we accessed, we can check across and yes, Edo does have a patient number now. So that's basically it for creating patients. Um, let's look at one more thing here. Let's look at test toddler. What we didn't look at inside of patient records were events. So events are chart notes, their labs, their letters, they are items that have been uploaded. And if I hover over it, I can preview. And in preview mode, I can't change anything. So I'm going to close this. Notice this is a soap note, a full soap note for this patient. So the vitals are on top. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to hover again. 
and it brings up the full soap note this time and I can edit it. Oh no, I can't edit it. Notice there's a little padlock to the left. That means the record has been signed and is no longer editable. Once a record is signed, it's part of the legal record for that patient and is not able to be changed. Now, with your login, you will be able to sign charts unless you're a nurse prep excuse me, a nurse practitioner or a physician, please do not sign. You'll have the, ca the capability of doing it inside of Practice Fusion, but not the legal authority. So let's go look at another patient. Let's go look at Test Adult Maria. And inside of Test Adult Maria, notice she has one signed chart note and two unsigned chart notes. So we can go into this chart note and this was a patient phone message. The patient phoned and said she would bring in her pay stubs tomorrow. Um, and we could add to this. We can click on edit bring up the full full chart note and add some more info. Um, daughter will drive patient to the clinic. So we can edit this and then notice toward the top here you could delete, cancel, save, or sign again unless you're a nurse practitioner or a physician, please don't sign it. You can delete it if it's not signed. If it is signed, you cannot. So we're going to save. And that modifies the chart note. If I want to create a new chart note, I click on Chart. And notice that brings us to the summary page. And I can just click on the button to the right top that says Start the Chart Note and then I have choices. We actually have more types of chart notes. There's a social service chart note. There's a, a nutrition note. There are about 10 of them in our actual database. So if you're, if you're doing patient assistance with a patient, you can choose other or social services. So I'm just going to click patient email message. Um, patient emailed scans of pay stops. And then I don't have to save it. I can just go out and practice fusion will save it for me. So that's how to take care of documenting phone conversations uh, as well as regular patient visits. So that's it for now. I think we're finished with going through patient information. Next on the list is going to be scheduling. Thanks. Talk to you again.